Hey, slow fam. How y'all doing? It's your girl in Goddess. How's everyone today? All right, you guys. I'm just going to be pulling a general energy. Um, thank you all for your continued love and support for my channel. I really, truly appreciate you guys. All right. Um, if you are seeking a personal reading, you can DM me. Or you can just go to my YouTube channel, Unknown Goddess, and click on the description. You see my email, everything there, and how to contact me, okay? All right, let's pull some general energy. Mother Isis, Father Goddess, I open these realms. I ask that you protect my energy, aura, and psyche. Block all negative energy and ill intent. Uh, use me as a vessel to give the messages that need to be heard to who? needs to hear it so much it be now my collective do remember energy is fluid it could be past present or future uh gender is fluid when it comes to tarot all right and um yeah take what resonates leave what don't like the great bob molly said who the cap fit let them wear it you feel me all right um all right let's see what's popping let's see what's popping for my collective today oh okay all right, this shuffling hands keep coming out. All right, we got a number one, Aries energy. Um, I feel like you're a jack of all trades. That's what I'm picking up with this Aries fire energy. You feel me? You're action Jackson energy. You know what I'm saying? You all about it, baby. You trailblazing. With the shuffling hands, I feel like, yeah, I pick up like a jack of all trades, Okay. You, you, you set the trend. You go after what you want. And I like that, my collective. That's that's some, that's that's like a natural born leader energy right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, mm. But let me tell you this, though. You don't have to shuffle in. When you're shuffling hands here, my collective, you don't have to, um, you don't have to do it alone, okay? You don't have to do it alone. Because this energy of this Aries energy, what I'm picking up on, somebody could be very impatient. You know, you don't like to wait for others. You want to, you know, you know you how your grandma always say, or the elders will say, you want things done properly, do it yourself. But it's also good to receive help, my collective, okay? Because you can overwhelm yourself. You could definitely overwhelm yourself, okay? Um... And, and and sometimes you gotta you have a short little you have a short fuse because things ain't going the way you want it or, how, or people ain't doing it the way you want but you got it's basically learning how to delegate is what I'm saying learn how to delegate okay let's get the um see what's popping here in my collective let's see yeah you got a group of people that wants to see you win when I see that three of cups energy all right you got you got a group of people that genuinely want to see you win three of cups is representing of the cancer energy yeah because this is where you want to get out of you 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 it's like yo i'm working hard to get my keep myself from out of the cold this is where you want to get from you want to get from here to celebrate so you put all that work in and you you can feel a little overwhelmed so you know you got people that want to see you successful you're around the right people okay but you got to learn how to delegate my collective you know Share some of the burdens. They're there to see you win. All right? Yeah, there go that fire energy again. Ace of Wands energy. You know what I'm saying? You are after your imminent opportunities, baby. You are out here seeking, taking action. You are you're, you're feeling empowered. You're feeling inspired. All right? Yeah, you are. You are definitely in your tip-top magician energy, making it happen. You're standing in your power. All right? You make shit happen. You're a jack of all trades, it's like I said earlier. You definitely what? Okay, you you definitely a jack of all trades. You see that ace of wands and that magician energy? Yeah, baby. You're a multitasker. And it's all good. Nothing ain't wrong with that. Look at that. But you, what did I just say? They go to ten of wands. And I said you need to delegate some of these burdens. Yes, ask for help. I can't make it up, my collective. <laughs> ask for help. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? 
all right? While you're taking care, because you can only be in one place at a time. So when you release some of these burdens here, baby, you will be able to manifest and get a lot, a lot of things done. So trust and believe when I say you got people around you with the three of cups that want to see you win. They rooting for you. They want to celebrate with you. And they want to help you, but you got to kind of like, like I said, do some delegation here. Because there's so much, so much, you got one too many things going on on the stove. Something is about to burn. Something is about to crash and burn. Something is about to fall down here with the tower here, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you what else I'm picking up, my collective. I was trying to truly ignore this energy, but it keeps coming up. Oh, God. Child, let me let me tell you what's popping here. And the spirit says what I'm about to tell is the truth because I was trying to ignore what I'm hearing. Mental clarity is what I was receiving with the Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, three of Swords here, Five of Swords. I knew the jealousy and the envy and the jealousy. I knew it was going to come up in judgment along with the hangman and the Seven of Pentacles. So let me tell you what's going on here as well. All right. Um, child, let me tell you what's going on. All right highly intelligent mental clarity you know what you want okay you clear on your vision you know what it is that you want you're manifesting it right that's the truth that's one part of the reading but let me tell you another part of the reading here three of swords energy here somebody liked when you somebody's trying to use this magic energy this magician energy here we go again fire sign uh pisces um aquarius gemini somebody went to go see a practitioner and whatever they did to try to hold you down and stop you, whatever magic they did to cause burdens on your life, because I'm going to tell you right now, this person is somebody who is trying to steal your joy. This person is trying to steal your confidence. All right. This person knows that you are powerful in your own right, in which we all are. This person is jealous and so envious of you that they did. They went, they went above and beyond. This is somebody who done too much. They have done too, too much much they have invested in so much to catch to keep you stop to stop you death card some of them even went to pay this practitioner to kill you because they're so jealous of you but see with that judgment card mm, all that they've invested in this person is they've basically called down death on their own life yes that they did Yes, they did. I'm telling you, my collective, they was trying to look at them hangman energy. This is somebody who's starting to feel ill. But let me tell you, when they get to that hospital, doctors is going to tell them, go home, get some rest, because the illness that they have on them is the demons that they summons. They got spiritual illness. Yeah, they are. And they're feeling hangman energy stuck. They wanted you to stay right here with this energy of not knowing where to go. It's like everywhere you turn, it's a dead end. You feel me? Every door is blocked and closed off to you. That's what they was trying to do. All right. They liked when you was in this three of swords energy, heartache, stressed out, burdens. You understand? You was taking on so many things on your own. All right. They was even blocking people from coming in and helping. And when we seen that three of cups earlier, they were celebrating. They were celebrating seeing you going through all this right here. <laughs> But guess what? Spirit says everything that they manifested with this Ace of Wands energy has found their judgment tower. It went back on them. They're going to be some of them. You're going to be hearing about somebody suddenly passing. OK, you're going to hear about a sudden death here because this person is doing too much. And the illness that they got, it can't be found by doctors. Doctors can't diagnose it because it's not be it's not diagnosable. It's not be, it won't be able to be diagnosed by a doctor from the spirit, from the physical eye, because it's from a spiritual sense. This person got death all over them. They got the spirit of death upon them. Now, don't get me wrong, my collective. There's two things guaranteed in, in this life when you're born to pay taxes and to transition up out of here. At some point, your time is going to expire on this Malkuth, on this earth. You feel me? That's two things that's guaranteed. Once you're born, you're guaranteed to leave one day. But guess what? This person sped up their time because they wanted to invest into you. So, uh, look at that. Seven of Pentacles, huh? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Huh? Huh? They was putting so many different difficulties in your way, so much challenges in your way. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. They knew what was to come for you. This person hated the fact that you were so independent. You're so creative. You feel me? And you look you look like money. Even if you ain't got a penny in the bank account, you look like money. That's just the blessing shining upon you, my collective. So I'm going to tell you right now, this person wants to steal your joy, your happiness, your success. This is what they wanted to steal it for. And some of them was doing it because of a man. Some of them was doing it because this King of Cups energy loves you. 
for the fact that this King of Cups has all his all his feelings is for you. Okay, could be same sex or it could be you, my feminines. Take it how it resonates. Okay, yeah, it's all because this person really loves you. Okay, and it grieves them with the sadness here that this person, the only thing this person see them as is his sex. They will never have this person's heart. All right, they will never have this person's heart. Now, for some of y'all here, it's brothers. There's two brothers here when I see this King of Cups and this King of Wands energy. Okay. All right, there's two brothers here or cousins or whoever these two male figures are. Now, remember, gender is fluid. But because I see these masculine energies here, I'm going to tell you right now, these two masculines, I'm going to tell you right now, one of them could be doing this to the person that's really, truly meant to be with you. Now, some of y'all, this could be an ex-boyfriend trying to attack uh, trying to attack the person that is supposed to come towards you or this person that you have never had met, but they're trying to block your love life. Okay? Yeah. Three of Wands, they got the foresight on you. Uh-huh. And with the devil card here, I'm going to tell you, they're fucking miserable. All right? Because they went to go get the readings on you. Three of Wands is something they was waiting for. They was waiting to see you bound. They was waiting to see you under some type of addictions. They also put the spell on you where people will only see you as sexually attractive, but nothing else and nothing more. You was just a piece of ass. That's what they manifested over your life, not to be happy, not to have any success in love, not to have no success in your career, not to have any type of success in, in your life. Nothing that you do, you should strive to. No love, no nothing. They didn't want, they was trying to steal your livelihood, huh? And now they're sitting here fucking miserable and everything that they invested in, now they're in the five, they're in the five of pentacles. Uh -huh. Now they're in poverty, huh? Huh? Oh my goodness. Let me tell you something. Yo, this person right here, look at this five of wands energy. These people were in competition with you, but spirit, God let you know, see, God is telling you, I sit high and I watch low. You see what I'm saying? God was always in the meds and all because due to your faith, due to your faith in the most high God and your prayers staying up. That's why you were always protected. You were always protected from this magician energy. Huh? Some of y'all do know how to tap into that spiritual work and you did that return to sender. And if you did that return to sender, let me tell you something. It's effective. All right. I'm gonna let you know. Spirit says that's the truth. It has taken effect. Y'all know that full moon is coming in um, on the first, on the 27th. That's Monday. Ten of Swords, they're sitting here in despair. Because this person was jealous and envious. Some of them was jealous of the fact that you and your twin flame, okay? King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. Somebody was jealous of you and your twin flame trying to stop this, this union from coming together. Huh? Yeah, uh-huh. But see, whatever is done in the dark has come to the light. There's so many, that they did the most. They was juggling. They was definitely on this mastery. Some of them was trying to work on your kids. Some of them was trying to work on mastery on your children. Ooh, child. See, but they got the warning to walk away. They should have walked away, but instead they went, they went, they traveled to go see a high priestess. There it is. There go that practitioner. But they can't, they don't understand that you are the real true divine feminine. You are the real true divine masculine. You got this occult knowledge. You got this sacred knowledge, huh? Now they're sitting here all tight, all up in their tight and mental energy. And, and then the thing is, this person needs therapy. You know why they need therapy? Because they're thinking that if some of y'all did a return to center spell, it did take an effect, but it's just a boomerang. It's what you put out is what you get back. For some, y'all didn't even, y'all just continue to pray to the most high God and kept protection around y'all. Okay. And some of y'all have a divine uh, spirit around you. That's watching over you an ancestor that's watching over you and protecting you. Okay. So, um, there's a lot of delays going on in this person's life right now. They're doing too much because they was doing the most. Not only was they investing in trying to hurt you and your children, if you have children, Children, but there was some of them was here trying to interrupt you and your twin flame coming together. Okay, this could be an ex-lover that was trying to interrupt you and your twin flame from coming together. You feel me? But the sun card is dealing with a lot of drama, child. You know, the sun card is the fifth house, Leo energy. This is all about a lot of drama. This person is a drama king or a drama queen. All right? Yeah, baby. Yeah, but they're getting their judgment because they're envious. They got a dirty mind and a dirty heart. Okay, they're mad because this person does not love them. They still heartbroken because this person is still highly attracted to you. You still got this person's heart. Okay, but what you did, what they fail to understand, you're a chosen, you're a star. I, I could be talking to an Aquarius. Your North Node could be Aquarius. Your Sun side could be Aquarius. But with the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, oh, this person was so selfish and indulging. See. This is what they want. You see that cup in the mirror coming from the mirror? Yeah, that's fake love. 
They was given an offer of an illusion. That's what they was given, an offer of illusion. They wanted this person, they fought, they wanted this person to fall in love with them, but they never got this person's heart. They would never. They probably have them there in the physical part of the body. You know, they're there physically, but guess what? They don't have this person's heart. Look at that. Took a worse, took a turn for the worse for them. See, your ancestors went after them, baby. Chariot energy, okay? See, you gotta understand. When you're dealing with the high priestess energy here, all right, you know how to balance the polarities. With the good, there's going to come the evil. With the light, there's going to be dark. You see what I'm saying? With the hate, there's going to come love. The polarities are being balanced. So with the chariot energy, these, kar these karmic energies has been conquered. They no longer can control you because your spirit is free. Your spirit is no longer bound. And then I tell you with that ace of cups, they was trying to stop your true love from coming towards you. They was trying to stop your stability from coming, your success. Okay? Yeah. They wanted to keep you in poverty. And they was waiting to hear for your downfall. They was waiting. They was waiting to hear about your death. Some of them set up a car accident for you. Yes, they did. Some of them here. I don't know if you felt you was uh, losing your mind. Some of y'all probably went and got therapy. Because I feel like with the higher fit here, somebody went to get some type of therapy. But guess what? The tables are turning. They're about to go get therapy. Listen, look at them. They're even thinking about offing themselves. So if you had thoughts of suicide at some point in your life, my collective, trust me. If they was fucking with somebody, uh, fucking with you or your children coming to tell you that they having suicide thoughts and all that bullshit that shit returned to sender believe me when i tell you that okay that shit returned okay let me just tell you that right now so if you hear somebody telling you they have thoughts of suicide spirit got them in hangman spirit put their ass on pause now they stuck they don't know what to do they don't know what direction to turn huh could they allow this envy and jealousy to get the best of them okay yeah here it goes here go the judgment spirit said you should have listened to your inner calling you should have listened to the warning and but no this person is consumed by their shadow side that's what they are they consume and now they're dealing with their burdens so let me tell you something my collective if you felt the need that you was working overtime you were working twice as hard and you're like, how come I can't obtain my success yet? Listen, it's because they was blocking your blessings. All right. For some of y'all, it's a twin flame energy. Y'all real true love. This person was waiting. All right. They was waiting to hear about your downfall. But baby, you got the foresight. You was waiting right here for your own ships to come in, never envious or jealous of anybody. But this person was secretly, secretly in competition with you. Could be a group of them here. Five of Wands energy. Huh? All right. And they're fighting with your person too. They're fighting with your person because that spell work ain't working. They don't like the fact that this person is right here stuck in the past with you. And they know this reconciliation is about to be, uh, uh come to fruition, but see, even though you was facing those challenges, you were still always protected. Spirit always defended you. All right. They're dealing with legal bastard ballot, um, um, legal situations too. Justice got to be served. The scales have to be balanced, baby. They go to justice. Could be a Libra. Okay. Yeah, baby. All right. Let's just keep it moving, baby. Because see, with the page of cups energy, you're about to have this emperor energy come in and apologize to you for just, because this person was under a tight spell. This king of cups. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just picking this energy up. All right. They was trying to stop this emperor from coming in to give you the love that you were deserving of. All right. Yeah, baby. This is your twin flame. This is both fire energies right here. This is your twin flame. For some of y'all, it's the same sex. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to tell you the truth, my collective. That's what's popping right now. All right. They was definitely teaming up and collaborating to come against you, but they was going to a practitioner and all that shit backfired. They was getting readings on you. Look at that. But your angels are always protecting you. All right, things are being restored in your life, my collective. Because see, they underestimated the strength of your angel, guys. They underestimated the strength of you. They underestimated the strength of your divinity. They underestimated the strength of your ancestral lineage. See, they like to tap into people and don't know the bloodline that you come from is from royalty. Do they not know that you come from a line lineage of witches, tarot card readers, spiritual practitioners yourself? Huh? I guess they were sleeping on you. This, this person was too arrogant. They was caught up all up. They was all up in they, they They was very arrogant. I'm going to tell you right now, very arrogant. And they feel foolish. But see, the moment you, they, the moment they think they take something from you, you're always pregnant with the new, new ideas. 
Always coming up with, you always look at the new possibilities. So your optimism is what kept you moving. You feel me? Yeah, look at this nine of wands energy. They thought that they could stop you. You're resilient, baby. You didn't let anything wear you down. You knew your faith was tested, but with that nine of wands, baby, you let it go and heal and kept it pushing. Okay, you're resilient. And now you're about to get an offer. Here go the nine of cups. You're about to get a, a loop. You're about to get a nice offer. And they sitting here acting like everything is okay. No, they're fucking in despair. Look at that ten of swords energy. I'm telling you, you see how that person laying there watching that phone? They're watching you. That's Like I said, they're watching you. There it goes. This could be a Pisces or a Cancer, okay? Yeah, they got to deal with the authorities out here. Child, please. Mm-hmm. This authority energy. They got legal issues going on. I'm telling you, my collective. I'm telling you. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles and the King of Swords. So if this person, if your person was married... Or you had to get a lawyer on the case just to protect you for your job. Because somebody, I told you, it was trying to interfere with your money, your livelihood, your love life, your money, your success. Even fucking with your kids, suicide thoughts, death, all of that. I'm going to tell you right now, my collective, you, 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 you are highly protected. There go that Queen of Cups energy. There go that Queen of Cups, baby. All right? You're a very loving, nurturing person. Like I said, spirit got your back. Spirit got your back. Hierophant energy here. Your faith is what got you through. And that's what brought forth happiness. Mental clarity. All right? Yeah. Look at this shit. Look at them. They watching you. And the time that they were waiting for your demise, huh? They was waiting. See, even though you were here, everything was okay. Everything was fine with you. But with the Ten of Swords, it ain't because look at that. What goes around, ten, comes around, ten. And now they're watching. Now people are talking about them too. People are gossiping about them now too. Yeah, Spirit got them exposed because whatever they was doing in the dark. Yeah, now they're sitting here in this restless energy, not a wands energy. Huh? And they're allowing their ego to drive them. They're going crazy. All right? Yeah, look at this. Death card is here. Tower. Some of them, you're going to hear about their sudden death, my collective. You're going to hear about somebody's sudden death. Look at this. They might as well off themselves because they was told to walk the fuck away and they didn't walk away. Now they're sitting here in sadness. They was told to walk away. Leave shit alone that you can't mess with. You feel me? Yeah, but they see they don't understand you're a free-spirited person. Your spirit is no longer bound by whatever it is they were doing to you. They had you under the chains. They was some of them went to graveyards to bury you. Oh my goodness, they went too far, but they didn't even know they was fucking with an earth angel. They was trying to interrupt your stability, your balance, your joy, your success. That's what they was trying to do. For some of y'all, it's your twin flame. All right, yeah. Anything else, Spirit? Let's get the other deck real quick and wrap this reading up, baby. Let's wrap this reading up. What's the scoop? What is the scoop? Whatever they was doing in the dark. Look, behind the scenes, it says there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are happening that you can't see, but you was always being spiritually guided. Okay, my collective. Wow. Angel number here. So some of y'all could be seeing 1111, 333. 222. I've been seeing 222 a lot. So that's a lot to do with y'all relationships. I've been seeing 33. I've been seeing 1111 a lot. Okay. So y'all might be seeing these master numbers. Okay. All right. Yeah, baby. Mm, mm, mm. But with the three of cups energy, I'm going to tell you right now, victory shall prevail. Okay. Self-reflection. Take a time to a moment to reflect. So the whole time they was trying to hold you down, my collective, you went within You see, they didn't understand that when they were slowing you down and trying to stop your success, trying to block every door that was to be open for you. And they kept them closed. They didn't understand that you was tapping in. You were ascending in a different way. You was taking time to tap into your divination. You was finding your spiritual gift. You were healing along the way. They, they, that's what they feel. They might have stopped you from getting uh, the success that you might have got, but it's all going to be restored, as we said. It's going to be restored. But what they didn't understand that you was going within and doing spiritual repair. You was on the spiritual maintenance, okay? Yeah, you was definitely on the spiritual maintenance, okay? Yeah, you was going through that spiritual transformation, baby. Everything in your life is about to change. You feel me? And now that you can see things from a higher perspective, and that's that third eye, baby, spiritual awakening. All right? I said somebody going to come back here and ask for your uh, ask for your forgiveness okay and apologize because if they if your twin flame teamed up and collaborated against you with that devil energy that karmic energy they have was they was under the illusions okay they was under that spells that's why i told you something what did i just say huh 
What did I just say? They're going to need a therapy for doing all of this because all this shit is backfiring on them. I'm telling you, your ancestors waking their ass up three in the morning. They seeing shadows. They seeing spirits. They seeing demons. Yeah, somebody needs to go visit a therapist, okay? Now, like I said earlier, some of y'all was going to see a therapist because you had thoughts of suicide. That's because they was fucking with you mentally. They were sending suicide spells and all that bullshit. Why? Because they was using black magic, okay? They're going to court to lie about certain things, too, because I told you they got legal issues. So whatever contracts, whatever they lied about, money, um, fraudulent checks, whatever they was, go they lying in court and they're going to get caught up because they was wishing ill intent on you. They was wishing ill intent on you, my collective. Okay. All they secrets. Didn't I tell you whatever's in the dark is going to be revealed? There it is. Secrets are being revealed. All right. And this phase is ending. All right. Yeah, baby. Just pay attention to the signs because why? You were too busy leveling up in your life. Nine of wands. Okay. You're unstoppable. All right. You're too busy leveling up. You are desiring, your desires are within reach. There it is. Your desires are within reach, baby. They was take, they was, listen, let me tell you something. It says experiencing similar energies. So you and your twin flame was definitely going through this cycle with the karmic. Remember how I said earlier, it could be your ex-man trying to stop you and your true love from coming together or your ex or your ex, whoever this is, was trying to stop that. Well, you got, you're getting a new job now, my collective. See, some of y'all know how to cleanse your space. Using sage, your person or you is seeing through the fog of shit now, okay? All right, yeah. Wow, wow. Anything else, Spirit, from this deck before I close this reading out? Anything else? But you are, you are protected. All right, confusion and conflict may be going on at this time. That's the Five of Wands, Five of Cups energy right now. Uh-huh, that's the Five of Swords energy right now. They've been defeated, They've been defeated and they're confused. That's I told you all this black magic and all this bullshit that they was doing. It went back to them. They're going to need a counseling. They're going to need a mental facility. Some of them is going to end up offing themselves. I'm telling you, you're going to hear about somebody taking their own life because that's what they wanted for you. All right. Yeah. But you're spiritually guided and protected, my collective, as well as your twin. Okay, as well as your twin. Didn't I tell you those creating blockages and obstacles in your life? This is what they was creating every tour, every door. They close, had to, every turn you turn, every door closed on you because that's what they was doing, okay? Thanksgiving and Christmas is here. I'm going to tell you right now, whatever they're doing, they better enjoy the last of it because it's going to be the last year they celebrate. Next year is the year of 2024, baby. 2024 is the year of the eight. All right? Yeah. It says the information or the situation may leave you shook. A lot of y'all going to be shocked about the shit that you're hearing about about this person. What do I see peaking? It's coming to a breaking point. You may be having out of body experience. See, they didn't understand when you was in that you when you were under spiritual maintenance that you raised your vibration. They awakened the real beast inside of you. All right. They they woke that spiritual beast up. You started really studying and going down into your studies, your philosophies, philosophies, practices and all of that. You was under spiritual maintenance the whole time they was trying to stop you from being successful on the 3D level. And there it goes. Something has completely come to an end. All right. Yeah. Decisions. OK, fork in the road. That's what it was creating confusions. OK, and they found it funny. Didn't I tell you they were celebrating? But see, you will grow from the situation. And that's exactly what you did. You started researching and occult things. You started new studies. You started researching. So the whole time they were stopping you. All right. What do I see peeking back here? You were always guarded and protected. And Spirit says the project what you projected. Your life is a projection of the energy you put out. So what they put out is what they're getting back. Like I said, some of y'all, they got tarot card readings on y'all. Some of y'all became tarot card readers. Okay. You found your spiritual gift because they was trying to stop you from your life's purpose, but they can't stop what's destined, baby. And now right here, it says access denied, private property, no access. They can't touch you. You are private property to the most high God. Who they think they was coming from? That earth angel? Nah, baby. You were too busy purifying your energy and your aura. You feel me? That's what you were doing in the meantime. So you might have not had the material things, but you had something even greater. Your spiritual gift was enhanced. They woke that spiritual beast up, baby. 
all right? So I don't know who they thought they was playing with. And I'm telling you, the information going to leave you shook when you hear it. You're going to hear about them. You're going to hear about them, my collective, because it's becoming too much for them to bear. All the shit they put out is what they're getting back. Yeah, okay? So the whole time they thought they were stopping you, they didn't understand they was helping you to awaken, to find yourself. Like I said, y'all was under spiritual maintenance while they was attacking you with that black magic. Anyways, Erx have several seats. All right. Yep. That's what I have for you, my collective. You are the real true, true, true magician. You found your power and you found your gift and you're using it. But with, like I said, it has to be justifiable. You ain't just going to get up and attack people because when you see the chariot and you see the justice card and you see the hierophant card, yes, you went into a higher learning, higher studies along with the, um, with the, um, high priestess card. But let me tell you something. You, it ain't, you don't use your gift to harm people. Okay, it has to be justifiable. You ain't gonna get into an argument with somebody and be like, well, I don't like her and I don't like what he said to me. I'm gonna throw black magic on them and fuck their life over. No, this person was trying to kill you. And if you go back for them now, some might not agree with it, but I'm gonna tell you right this. It has to be justifiable when you're going back for these people that are trying to kill you or kill your, your youngins. You feel me? You, mama bear claws come out. Daddy, the papa bear claws come out. Don't attack the youngins. Don't come for the children. As a matter of fact, don't come for me if I didn't send for you. And they sent for you, my collective, and you didn't call. You didn't send for them. You feel me? So what you're doing back to them is justifiable. That return to sender, it is taking effect on their lives. Best believe that. All right? So I wish you all love, light, and peace. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Bye.